The best things come from adversity and struggle. It is meant for you to win, and although some won't, the fault must be laid at your own feet. Welcome to Struggle, Grow, Succeed. I am your host, Charles Baldwin. This is where we welcome the struggle and then we attack it. It is through struggle that we grow. And on the other side of growth is success. How have you changed? Or have you? What will the memory of 2020 mean to you and What will your children remember about it? As you think about this year so far, what changes have taken place in your life? Have you improved in finances, in your relationships, in your spirituality, in your physical health, and in your mindset? Or have one or more of these things gotten worse? Depending on how you feel, the answer is the same. It is apparent that how you are doing now is in direct response to where you were several months ago. Now, I'm not talking about things that were out of your control, such as your job, for instance. How prepared were you to be locked up in your home for two weeks? What was your response to the pandemic? How prepared were you to be responsible for educating your children? How was your food supply and other essential supplies that you needed to live? I found myself very unprepared with food and other supplies that I needed nearly on a daily basis. I found myself spoiled with the convenience to be able to run to the store for anything that I might need. Things could have been much worse for all of us if we had been unable to go to the grocery store and stock up on all the supplies that we needed and the food. One area that I'm thankful that I was prepared in was the correct mindset to survive and stay strong mentally. Instead of being overcome with fear, I relied on my faith and where my mindset was when these things happened to our world. I contribute that to some simple habits that I had created in my everyday routine. These daily habits consisted, first of all, of being thankful and having gratitude for even the very smallest things in my life. There is such power in gratitude. Another habit was to write down goals and action plans to achieve those goals. Although there was a slowdown in the economy and everything we knew was turned upside down, my goals and the actions that I must take to achieve them never changed. The time that I had actually helped me stay true to the path that I'm on. There was more time to think and to plan, more time to meditate and pray, more time to spend with my family. This year can either be a curse or a blessing. It all depends on what you did or what you were doing right now to make it come to pass. It is never too late to prepare your mind. This year is far from over and with the unrest in our country and the elections just around the corner, There is more turmoil to come. If you have ever experienced anxiety and fear, if you at times felt hopeless and alone, then it is not too late for you to take some action. But you've got to do it now. You have to start today and gird up your loins with truth. Be thankful for what you have. Set your aspirations and goals and make a sound plan on how you will achieve them, no matter what happens in this world. The best things come from adversity and struggle. It's meant for you to win, and although some won't, the fault must be laid at your own feet. It is your actions and sometimes your inaction that brings about the win or loss and the growth or decline of your life. Your mind is where change first takes place. Any action that has not been through the mind first, in most cases, becomes destructive. I know you've heard the saying, look before you leap. That saying is true. However, sometimes, even though you look, you may not see where you are leaping to. That is where your faith becomes the most powerful force that you can have. Believe in yourself. Believe in your fellow man. Believe in your God. Let the memory of 2020 not be stained with all that has gone wrong, but remembered as a year of change in you, in our country, and in our world. Thank you for joining us today on Struggle, Grow, Succeed. If you liked what you heard, share it with a friend or a family member. You can also hit the follow button or subscribe, whatever kind of button that you've got there. 
so that you don't miss another episode of our podcast. We'd love to have you as part of our Facebook group. It's hashtag Struggle, Grow, Succeed. Or you can also visit our website, strugglegrowsucceed.com.